Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be getting into this unit that was sent over from Beauty Forever Hair. So thank you so much to Beauty Forever Hair for sponsoring today's video. Let's see what came inside. So you can see it did come with a few goodies inside, some eyelashes, some hair clips, a scarf, and a wig cap. And of course, here is the wig here. Here is a curly natural wig texture, 18 inches long, and it is a V part wig. So this is gonna be my first time installing this type of wig. It's similar to a U part, but you're supposed to be able to leave very little leave out or no leave out at all. So we're gonna to try to achieve today's look with no leave out. So that's just a close up of the parting space. And inside, you do have a few clips to help you secure the wig. Two on each side and one in the center in the back. And you also have three combs, two on each side, and one down bottom and adjustable straps. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this unit, let her air dry for a little bit, and then I will be back to put her on. Okay, so the hair has now been washed. As you can see, the curls are popping. And it's just very, very soft. I'm so nervous about doing this. I only watched one video on this. That was the Hearts and Cake 90. And I was like, okay, she gave me the confidence to try this out. So here we are. Like I showed you before, it has all of these combs in the front to secure the wig to your natural hair. So let me show you what I have going on under here. I have like two twists in the back and then I took out some of this hair because I wasn't sure how much I would need to cover the leave out, if any. I also have some root touch up spray because I don't know if any of my ginger is gonna be showing. So this is if we need it, if I need that much. I'm hoping I only need like this much and we're good, but we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is like clip open these clips I've opened all the clips. I'm gonna now kind of figure out where I want her to go on my head. Okay, trying to push these down is a little challenging. Oh, there we go. I snapped one and I actually started with the front. Snapped another one in. And I'm gonna just snap the rest of these down. I don't even know if they're really in my hair or not, but I'm snapping them down. I know the ones up top are in. Wow, y'all, that looks really good. This side especially looks really good. Let me move this one over some. Did I move it anywhere? Hold up. This is really not bad. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Let's see if I can pull some hair out on this side just to kind of help me out a little bit with that space. That's what I saw uh, Brittany do. She kind of just like lifted her own hair up to help with that area. This side is like really good. I think I'm gonna cut this a little too, just to give it a little more shape. Like I don't want the long pieces right there. Maybe do some layers towards the front, y'all. I'm not a cutter at all, but. I'll be trying a little bit. Okay, so I am back with the final look and this is it. After I trimmed her up a little bit, I did fluff her out, changed my shirt, and now here we are. 
I really, really like her big and fluffy. Like, I think in the beginning, I just had her a little too tame. I like her, you know, more, more natural looking and fluffed out. I think she's really cute like this. Let me give you a close up of the parting area because I did not use any leave out and I think it looks pretty good. So let me show you. Don't judge my part that my part is like a little crooked. That's like my natural, you know, that's like my real part is a little crooked from when I put my hair into ponytails. Just ignore that. But it looks pretty good, right? Okay, so let me get into all my thoughts on this unit. I love the fact that it is so easy and so convenient, so innovative. This is my first time trying this type of wig and anybody can really do this. Trust me, anybody can do this. You don't even need leave out. I think that's what I love the most. So in case you have, you know, maybe thin hair or hair that you don't think will blend very well with this texture, it really doesn't matter because as long as you have that little part in your head, you're going to get a natural install. So I really like that. This is all head friendly, big, small, medium, doesn't matter because you're pretty much just going in with those clips. So it feels very comfortable. It feels lightweight. It doesn't really feel like it is tugging on my hair, but you do have to be careful because there are combs up there. So, you know, you don't want to put too many combs in your hair now, but um, it does not feel painful or uncomfortable at all. I also really like the texture of this hair. It is very soft. I love the curls. I love it fluffed up. I believe this is the natural wave. If I am wrong, it will be in the description box below. The correct texture will be in the description box. But I'm really feeling this curl pattern. It's like giving me natural hair a little bit. Like I feel like my natural texture, if I was to wear my little afro, would be similar to this. I'm going to insert a picture of, you know, my little natural curls. They're a different color, but still. So I feel like, yeah, like this could, could totally be a dupe for natural hair. All these little pieces I'm seeing, I'm sorry. Y'all know I chopped this up a little bit and I'm not an expert cutter. So any little scraggly pieces you see, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm going to go ahead and turn around so you can see this unit from all angles. So I wasn't really sure how this unit was going to turn out. You know, the V part had me nervous, but I will say, I think I'm a believer now. I think I am. I'd be willing to try this in another texture, even though I think the curly hair is most forgiving. I'm not sure if you did like a body wave, if you could get away with no leave out you might have to leave a little bit of your hair out. So if you're gonna try it out, I do think the curly hair is a great place to start because you know, you can fluff it up and I think it kind of just, it works for the part a little better. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I am definitely surprised at how easy it was to use. Definitely a beginner friendly unit. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this one. Are you going to be giving it a try? Were you doubtful about it at first like me? Let me know in the comments. Once again, special thank you to Beauty Forever Hair for sending this unit over to me and sponsoring today's video. Thank you for watching in full and making it to the end. And I will catch all of you later.